I was looking forward towards 2021 and co-op games in general. With big titles like Dying Light 2, The Forest 2, among other games, I've been dying literally to play a good co-op game. Now, out of nowhere comes this biking themed co-op survival game called Valheim. After seeing some 10 out of 10 reviews, me and my friends decided to give it a go and see what the fuss is about. Now, Valheim is an earlier access game, so this already kind of gives alarm signals. Early access games, for me at least, especially with Corp, usually has poorly implemented systems or not that much interactability and just a huge bucket list of problems and just not enough content in general. Anyways, beyond that, let's go into the Corp review and let's take a look at some of the Corp elements and some of the gameplay that you'll experience if you get Valheim today. Okay, with all co-op games, I tend to look at the connection and is it easy to connect and all that kind of jazz. So with Valheim, it's pretty simple. You can obviously um, get the game through Steam, so all you need to do is get someone to host the game and then just join them. Now, the only thing I just want to note is when you join the server, now if the host closes the server, everyone saves their progress. Um, there wasn't really any visible warning about this, so we just had to figure this on our own. And so if you're worried about losing progress, um, pretty much you don't have to worry at all. With lag, um, we haven't seen any problems, but we are playing with only 3 to 4 people. This game does go up to 10 people, so 1 to 10. So I can definitely see some problems with that whole kind of spectrum. So you might need to run some dedicated servers if you are running the game with more than, I guess, 9 to 10 people. Overall, the connection side of the game is pretty positive and there's no real any bad experiences and it's pretty easy to connect. So, thumbs up for this. Okay, so let's get into the gameplay. I am definitely going to cover some of the co-op elements and what I think about that, but one of the first things that I wanted to talk about was the survival element. I personally think Valheim does survival really, really well. The reason why I say this is a lot of survival games out there today make survival tedious. Um, for some games, it makes sense. I think if you're playing, for example, Green Hell, the survival elements do make sense and for you to focus on that is kind of important. But there's so many survival games out there which just don't make sense, especially if it's kind of more fantasy based, right? Now with Valheim, they really toned it down. I don't think it's too hard. I think you're dying mainly from mobs, not from like your hunger bar going to zero and such, such like that. Okay, so let's take an example of what I'm talking about. Let's say you want to build for a whole day. Now, in Valheim, you have basically a hunger and a HP bar that is connected. You need three sources of food, and the better the food, obviously, the bigger HP bar is your regen and all that stuff. Now, if you want to eat no food, your HP will always be capped at 25, or um, the minimum it can fall, right? And now, this is a really cool concept, because if you just want to do nothing, and you just want to, like, build, you will never die from hunger, so you don't have to ever worry about that. I think that's a pretty cool and a pretty well-thought concept. The reason is, is because, well, in my opinion, Valheim is kind of a survival, but a bit of a fantasy game, right? Like, it's not the whole, you know, spectrum around survivability, you know, manage your water, you can't get parasites, you know, in Green Hell and stuff like that. Well, I think in Valheim, they realize, well, it is a bit fantasy, so that's not fully you know, survival hardcore and make everyone look and eat and find food f like every minute of the uh, game you're playing. I think this is done really well, and I really enjoy that survival aspect of this game in particular. Okay, so let's dig into some of the meaty stuff of the gameplay. Valheim focuses on building, exploration, and of course fighting bosses and mobs. In my opinion, what makes Valheim great for such an early access game is the amount of content available so far in each of these aspects. Although there isn't a specific story in this particular game, there is enough lore and development in the game with bosses to make it feel like there is an overarching goal. Now, if you prefer a sandbox, there's also that with an extensive and well thought through crafting and building system in the game. There are many examples out there of people creating awesome setups with teleportation rooms and even a fully operating bar. Everything is pretty much smooth and everything is easy to build with friends because you can collect resources together and actually build on top of each other's structures. 
There are a few other mechanics in the game that allow for a bit more privacy in the building. I think there's one where they can't build within a certain area or they can't build on top of you, I can't remember exactly. There are also, for example, items or structures you can build, for example, a personal chest, which is only accessible for yourself. So if you manage to fight something and loot something really awesome, but you don't want to carry it with you, you can just build like a personal chest. So you know, none of your friends will scumbag that item off you. For combat, for the most part of the game, it focuses around melee and range. With range, you have um, upgradable bows and different types of arrows, for example, fire, poison, and just your standard arrows. And for melee, you have a variety of weapons, kind of reminiscent of RuneScape for me at least, especially with your maces, your battle axes, your swords, and of course, your pole arms. Valheim's combat system kind of reminds me of Dark Souls, to be honest. With your dodge rolls and parrying, what I think Valheim's doing is it's trying to take the best elements of different games and putting it into one game. Kind of like what Craftopia was trying to do, but Valheim does it in a more seamless way. In my opinion, it's a lot more forgiving, especially with the parrying. Um, your timing can be a bit more off in Valheim and you still be rewarded, whilst in Dark Souls, if your timing is just slightly off, you're gonna get punished. And I think this is what makes Valheim a lot more fun for the casual player. Yes, it has mechanics for, to enable those who want to, you know, use their timings and skills and stuff like that. And yes, you're gonna die a few times in Valheim, but not 10 billion times like you would in Dark Souls. In my opinion, this is what makes Valheim really fun, especially if you're playing with a group of friends, especially ones that potentially might not play co-op survival games that much. The game is beautiful, the game is spectacular, and it's not as janky as people would think, especially when you first come into the game. Surprisingly, there isn't that many bugs. I think I only ran into one very minor glitch, and that what makes the game such so spectacular. With so much content, there's so little bugs for such an early access game. I'm just super excited just with that kind of aspect. So as a final note, definitely get this game. Now the only thing, reason why I would assume that you wouldn't want to get this game is if you're a purely story driven person. This game is all about open world, it's procedurally generated um, and you're not really looking for a story part in particular at least right now. It's more focused around the gameplay, exploration and just building a base right. If you're looking for an in-depth story from day one, you're probably not going to get this from this particular game, but maybe developers will implement this in the future, you never know. Now, if you want to play this with friends, I highly recommend it. It definitely makes the game a slightly easier because you can juggle aggro and stuff, and although there isn't too many multiplayer interactions just yet, developers have announced that they are working on this. In my opinion, just because of so much, how much content there is in the game, it's just worth buying it right now, just for how it is. And remember, this is just the version 1 of the game. Imagine what this game will look like in maybe a year or two. Okay, if you made it this far, thanks a lot for sticking around. Um, please leave us a like and subscribe, of course. And if you have any videos or cult videos you want to see, or any comments around this video itself, just leave something below. I'll definitely reply to it. I tend to reply to every comment I get. Thanks.